Well, this is exciting. We just had a tornado drop down here in the Ohio Valley. Yeah, Ohio. You know, flat roads, no trees. <sighs> My goodness. All right, so I'm looking at the Weather Channel. I think we should be okay. All right, so we're going to take a look at the terrific Chromebook file system. Now, there's been a lot of or some confusion that you have to be connected to the web all the time to use a Chromebook. That is not true, of course. Uh, you can access files that you already downloaded. You can access files from an external hard drive or an external USB. And I will show you that in a minute, but let's take a look at the file system. All right, so what I did here, I just clicked the shortcut here at the bottom, the file folder, my files, as you, as you see here. And if you look at the top, you, it has play files, Linux files if you enable Linux apps to be installed, downloads in the camera. To the right, you have the date modified, a search tab to the right, very easy. You can change how it looks on the grid. To the far right, if you scroll all the way down, it should say, yeah, right there at the bottom, it'll say how much space I have left. In my case, it is 86.1 gigabytes of available space. If you go to the left, it has recents, audio, images, videos. If, if you go to expand my files camera for your recordings, downloads from Google Drive, Linux files, and if you scroll down to where it actually says Google Drive, you can access my drive. And this, of course, you will have to access the internet for this. However, you can use a magical, wonderful piece of technology, highly advanced, called the USB stick, as you see here, to plug it in. And, it's a, and it says, removable device detected. And you can transfer files from your device. That's it. Let me know if I missed anything. Take care.